Okay. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Getting that all mixed up there. Picked up the the Discord, uh, the not uh, the uh, podcast live template there instead of the the pack opening template. That will make big differences. Hey, right. well, here we are. Cat, no, don't rub your face against that. I was gonna say it shouldn't be moving. Cat. We got a cat chilling here with us, deciding to make everything a living hell. Doing cat things. There we go. You'll definitely be seeing a cat mosey on around throughout this, no doubt in my mind. Stop it. Cats love a tripod for some reason. Cats just love fucking shit up, period. It's just what they do. Yeah, they do. Look at this little fucker right there. Can you see? Yeah, y'all can see him right here. Kind of in the bit of the camera. Just being a shit. Yeah, that's that's it, Johnny. You've heard him on episodes and stuff before. If uh, it was in a hard spot to edit out. He's very vocal. Stop it. We are not prepared. This this tripod is not cat proof. No, no, it's not. not. One damn bit. But we're not here to talk about cat proofing and shit like that. We're here because we're going to be opening up a set booster box of Modern Horizons 2. Whoop, whoop. Right? Okay. This is exciting. This is the first set box I'm opening of uh, Modern Horizons 2. Oh, I was going to say, like, no, we've opened set boxes before on stream. Yeah, but this is Modern Horizons 2. Right. Which has crap ton of value yes it does uh, oh uh no we do not have the uh blueberry kennies right now we got the slap bracelets fruited sour and then in the back we got a scottish ale and a, a juicy ipa kitty oh my gosh you are gonna get murdered yeah you i'm talking to you scamper on away you want to jump on the lap Watch, it's not going to jump up here. Nope. Giving him all this opportunity, he wants the attention. He's like, "Oh, let's let's explore this for a quick right? second. Let's jump right up on the table." Hey, man, he'd be better on the table. At least he's not fucking with the tripod then. <laughs> uh, well, uh, let's see where are we at. Opening set boxes. Yes. All right. So we're gonna start off by, I guess, mentioning that we're gonna be giving away a pre-release pack of Modern Horizons 2 here to someone that submits in. I'll get a uh, a drawing webpage set up here <laughs> at the end of this. <laughs> Trying to protect the tripod from the cat. This is, what, this is what this podcast has come to. Just protecting the camera from getting knocked over by a cat. Yep. <laughs> but uh, yes, we're going to start up a, a drawing for this. You can enter in to win, and I don't know. So far, we've been able to ship everywhere. Ship something to Finland for our first drawing. Right? That's right. We did. I we forgot did. about that. Yeah. So, I don't know. We're okay with biting those international shippings bullets if anybody's interested. But, yeah. Be on the lookout uh, by tomorrow for a, uh, a link to enter in to win this. And if you're watching this early, uh, maybe we'll have a... We'll think of a, a, a word to get you like a bonus entry. Like I don't know how to don't know how to do that if you can like prove that you're here right away to get an extra entry. But I wanna I wanna figure out a way to give those who watched a way to give them a word, but then cut it out of the actual edit. This is going. Li this is, I mean, that means I have to so cut. But see, if you cut it out of the edit, then anyone who watches it after the fact isn't going to know about it. Okay. Only the people watching live will Kay. know about it. People watching live, stick to the end. That way it'll make it easier for me to cut out the word in the end of this. True story. Uh, hopefully we'll get by this pretty quick. Not expecting to be here all night for y'all. No, because we got playtesting to do, sir. Yeah, we do. JB's excited about this Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. 
modern yep. tournament in Alexandria for is it a 500 cash prize or is it a 400 Four, 400 is top prize 400 cash prize coming in for with uh boggles or dnt not sure yet i'm still deciding okay. i'm on the fence all right so we're going to make this a nice clean box opening uh stick tune for the link on how to win this pre-release pack could be some goodies in there shit is not cheap son no it is not but here we have the set box jb will ceremoniously open up the box the box the list there are the list cards in this box yes there is gonna be some goodies maybe maybe all right before we open this box what are we hoping what are you hoping jb specifically to open in this uh a cauldra because I, I got credit at Josh's, so I'll just be like, yeah, I'm going to take this home. Just take it off my bank, sir. <laughs> uh, move that over there so that way you can toss the pack wrappings in the trash can right away. Perfect. Okay. Right. Magic folk. Oh, hold on. Before we start. Hello. We are This Week in MTG. <laughs> if you just decided to stumble upon us, we are your aggregate news source for all things Magic the Gathering, but we are attempting to branch out and do different things, pack openings. Uh, JB is supposed to be recording some league play, like Moto League play. One, one, once I get around to it, yeah. Yeah, once he gets around to it. Hopefully. that. Yeah. So, what you're watching right now is a box opening that we are attempting. I'm going to see how, how we do on this. All right. The first one has a lot of air in it. <laughs> it's pretty bubbly. Should we do some sort of like ASMR? There we go. ASMR back. Let your ears be filled with that crackling sound. This one doesn't want to open. It sounds like you're struggling there, JB. First pack, we're going to get a signed art card. Calling it now. If we don't, I'm just bad at shot calling. But I will say it's going to be, our, one of our rares is going to be a uh, Esper Sentinel in this first pack. Fingers crossed. Let's see if that happens. Well, the art card was backwards. So that's that's interesting. <laughs> interesting. <Is it laughs> it not a signed card. Not signed. But one of the uh, artifact bridges. Yep. So we got an island, uh, Silver Bluff Bridge, Storm God's Oracle, Gouge Zealot. Unholy Heat, this card, I tell you what, is going to do some things. Yeah, we were just talking about this on the last episode. Yeah. And one mana, six damage. Like, Delirium is not that hard to no, no, it's not. get to. And just, like, a one mana, six damage, destroy anything is really good. Is that Squirrel Mob? <gasps> look at that. No, hey. it's Run Run's Hydra, but really look at that. First Subtlety. Mythic of the Box, first pack. Nice. Hold that up to the camera. Let's all Let all them beautiful people see that. Get closer. Lower, lower, and there, 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 and focus in. Watch out. Look at that. <laughs> subtlety. Bam. Good stuff. Dude, subtlety and force of negation. I wonder if, like, that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, what's the old border? Terminal agony. And then a foil. Dehada's ploy. Oh, nice. I like that card. I'll put the foil. Foils, and a food token. Squares. Hey, those food tokens are going to be very important. We'll put retro frames up here too. If anybody has any questions about cards as we open them, please uh, let us know in the chat. We will be more than glad to give you our half-assed knowledge on things, as we call it. Yeah, I'd say that. I'd say it's half-assed knowledge. You know, with a uh, uh, not flame jab. Yeah, that's flame jab. <laughs> flame rift again. I bet you this whole box is going to be like that. Watch. Watch, it will be. Hey, nope. subtly. Not signed. But yeah. it's still a subtlety. Look at that. Subtlety art card. Nice. And a subtlety mythic. Do you get any prismatic endings in here? No, oh, timeless wisdom. Violent tumor. Nice. No, oh, there's a profane tutor. Profane tutor. Ooh, and a vindicate? Ooh, nice. 
Very good. Sketch lens flare. What's lens flare do? Uh, it's four and a white instant affinity for artifacts. It deals five damage to target attacking or blocking creature. All right. So it does white things. I'm down with that. We'll put the sketches in a separate pile too. We'll somewhat Makes sort this for Josh. Make it easier for, for him. Right. Josh, thank you. I guess we should uh, say that as well. This box is brought to you by J-Dubs Sports Cards and Gaming. As by the playmat there. All right. If you guys have any magic purchases you need to meet, uh, make and you are in the FM area or anywhere else because Josh does ship nationally yes, and can do internationally if you contact him. So all these cards that you are seeing th that you will see get open live tonight are going to be available at J-Dubs for purchase later on. Yeah, I, I have a feeling this whole damn box is going to be that way. I agree with Which you Which is now. interesting. I have yet to see one like that. Like, that's uh, that kind of blows my mind that it's like that. And here we are with proof. Right? Yeah, Recorded you're watching proof. it uh, watching it live. Turx, Canical, Monoskelion, Arcbound, Shikari. There's a Chitter Splitter. Good stuff. And a Suspend. We're hitting some pretty... Pretty high rare counts here. Oh, dude, I love suspend. Okay, so I know we've mentioned it before on the on the podcast, but I think in like blue aggroish style decks or like a blue control with Teferi's, uh, that foil looks really I good. I, I do like the foiling in this set. Hopefully they don't Pringle. Hopefully they fixed it. Fingers crossed on with that. The, one. With the amount of money you're spending on these damn things, they better not Pringle. <laughs> one would hope. But yeah, uh, suspend with. Uh, three fairy or anything that stops your opponent from casting like also void mirror suspend and void mirror would stop that from happening as well um uh og to fairy a murktide regent as the art card that card is a cool card we will talk about that maybe a little more if that shows up what are some of these cards? A, the starfish. starfish yeah, the, the surveilling. surveilling starfish. Yeah, because it's uh, what it's based on is the uh, Theros Scry starfish. I can't remember what that one's called. but Was there one? Yeah. And it was a starfish? Original stero uh, Steros. Ooh, original original <laughs> Theros. Megas is a bridge. Nice. Hey, and a Zern Orb. Yeah, dude. Dude, Zern Orb Sketch with... Kitchen Imp. Is Zern Orb not a rare? No, it's an uncommon. Oh, shit. All right. Good. And then a foil soul snare. Oh, and we have a list card of Harold's Horn. Ooh, the list. The Her list. For all your tribal needs. Correct. We'll put a list card right there. Harold's Horn is a beast of a card. I ran it when I had a Ur Dragon EDH deck, and it was in there as a way to help uh, skim through, uh, reduce the cost. Because it reduces the cost and it scries when you cast a creature of the chosen type. No, it just triggers stuff on upkeep. It, You look at the top card of your library. If it's a creature card of the chosen type, you may reveal it and put it in your hand. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's still pretty good. That's a sweet art card. Do we know Ooh, what this art is for? Foil planes. It is for Arceus Acolyte. I have no idea what that card does. Oh, I think that's the one that gives things an out outlast mm. with the Selesnya. Okay. It does look like a Selesnya card with yep. the colors. Cabal Initiate. Oh, Mist Veil Bridge. Jihad Deploy. Recalibrate. Dark Brown Well. Barbed Spike. Slag Strider. Sanctum Weaver. There you go. That's a house of a card. Have right. you been looking at those enchantress style decks? I have. Um, I've thought about building an enchantress deck, but I don't know. Ooh, and then we got another rare and wonder. Nice, first time printed to modern. Sketch, faithless salvaging, and a foil surveil starfish. Yeah, so shiny. When you, when you think of a starfish, what do you think of? Because I know what I think of when I think of a starfish. My first initial thought. I think of Finding Nemo. You think of Finding Nemo? Mm -hmm. I think of Limp Biscuit. <laughs> Chocolate starfish. Oh. <laughs> I was like, well, how do you... Like, dun, 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 Oh, my God. Welcome to my childhood, I guess. Right. <laughs> That's what I do. Playing 
Jones. I was, I was the kid that enjoyed Limp Biscuit. Hey, I enjoyed Limp Biscuit too. What's your? Are are you the person that poo poos on them right now because Fred Durst, I guess, is kind of a douche? Uh, I don't know. How I many knows what it is? I I've. I can separate the the person from the music. I mean, it's just like with Michael Jackson. Him yeah. as a person was a shitty person, but you 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 can't deny he made good music. God, his music was so good. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I got I got that feeling. Ooh, sketch Ooh. fractured sanity and mm-hmm. a misty. Oh, Boom. Nice. First fetch land of the set box. Oh, jeez, we just got three rares in a row. We got a squirrel mob too. Oh, hold on a second. We got Wait, wait, do you really have a black screen, or are you just fucking with us right now? Swear to God. I feel like you're fucking with us that, that shortly after you posted the, the, the raid Shadow Legends right? thing. I gotta know. I ain't lying. Uh-oh. He ain't lying. Refresh the page. Everything looks good on our end over here. All right. Because this is going to be really boring if uh, <laughs> no one can actually right? see what the fuck yeah, see So what's don't going open on. unless we figure this out. Jesus, you hasty I little I can at bastard. least get the wrapping off. Yeah, try... Uh, I would recommend try refreshing, closing that app, and restarting it back up. Have you, have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? That does help. So pr- <laughs> oh, we back. Nice. Okay. Nice. We are golden. Yep. Yeah. Red as we hit a three rare pack. Right. Everything yeah. goes down. Hey, there we go. Captain. Oh, Ethan, is that- Ethan's gonna love us. Nice. Shiny. Uh, the, the 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 art card for the uh, the guy that makes the four four golems. Oh, that guy. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Look at that shiny it's gold signature on that. Ooh, we got a foil forest. Sound and pe- sound effects necessary. <laughs> Thank you, Wade. You are hey. doing God's work by Fantasmal reminding everybody Dreadlaw. that this is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Power Depot. Power Ooh, Depot. there we go. Mythic sign of Draco. Hold on, hold on. Power Depot has to be going for something. Actually, was there any uh, modular decks in the recent deck dumps? Ooh, then we got a counter spell. Oh, which one? Oh, just normal, not the borderless. Yeah, just regular counter counter spell. Then we got a sketch late to dinner and a foil, Dross Forge Bridge. What was the name of that tapped land with modular again? Power Depot. Yeah, Power Depot. Let's see what that card is going for. I imagine probably nothing because it's not yeah. common. Yeah, market is thirty. Foils are a buck thirty. So, if you're interested in foils of that, and you play, uh, it's not modular deck. What the fuck is it called? Uh, hardened scales. There we go. Sure. Hard, I'll go with that. Hardened scales deck. God damn it. Hate myself sometimes. I forget. Hey, that's the uh, the treasure one. Oh, nice. treasure and flashback. Right. Let's take a look at the back here. Sure. Uh, yep. Strike it rich. Good at remembering arts, bad at remembering names. Ooh, Blazing Rootwalla. Nice. Those in the discard decks, super good, because it's zero to cast on that. Moderation. Ooh, and a Fire, fire and ice. ice. I love Fire and Ice as a card, and I am super happy that it got printed into Modern. Sketch Laser Tep Chancellor. I enjoy Isn't that. that what that's, that's what I got. That's what you need? No, not or, what I need. Oh. What I, I got that in my... Um, uh, Verena EDH deck. Oh, I thought that's what you needed. Because you amass two by oh, whenever yeah. you discard a card, and with zombies, yeah. always discard a card. Foil Gargadon. Lesser Gargadon. No, it's the average Gargadon, sir. Potato, potato. Because they already made a greater and a lesser. Was there a lesser Gargadon? Yeah. I thought they were just referencing a lesser Gargadon. Was it actually called the lesser Gargadon? I don't Gargadon? know. Just read the flavor text, bro. Yeah, I read the flavor text. Let's go to Scryfall. Lesser. Oh my god, there is a Lesser Gargadon. Lesser Gargadon from 8th edition. Prophecy was when it was originally printed, and it was on the list. Nice. <laughs> so it is Red Red 2, Beast, when Lesser Gargadon attacks or blocks, sacrifice a land. It's a 4 mana 6 4. So you sack a land. 
Ooh, hey, oh, look, there's abiding. another abiding grace. Hey, dragon's, dragon's rage, rage channeler. channeler. I yeah. love that card. Ooh, void walker. Yes, I'm yeah, in. We're just, That's we're a... just gonna kind of go. Oh, go you're first. gonna be setting a pile just, for yourself here, JB. What just, about these lovely bit. listeners <laughs> that want to jump in? On this? <laughs> they can fight me. I think they'll win because you're not playing a lyrus. We got a hunting pack. <laughs> A retro frame Ornithopter of Paradise. Nice. And a hey. foil Chatterstorm. Oh. Okay, foil Chatterstorm has to be doing something. It's making waves and popper. I don't know. I've got one. Chatterstorm. I also have a retro frame Chatterstorm, too, so check, <laughs> check that no, out. Not Chatterstorm. Chatterstorm. Yes. God damn it. Wow, 50 cents. Right. It works. It is, Shoot. A, com it is a common still, but it's a good card. It is a good card. Not bad pulls, I would say, so far. All right, yeah, okay. so far for the first stack. Yeah. And uh, a f is this the start of the second stack, then? No, this is the last of the That's first stack. That's the last of the first stack. Island, Kitchen Ink, Tragic Fall, Helm Mongrel, another Dross Forge Bridge, Terminal Agony, Mystic Redaction. I've thought about playing around with that card a little bit. What does that card do? Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, scry one. Whenever you discard a card, each opponent mills two cards. Okay. Ghostlit Drifter. Bray's Apprentice. I think that card should be getting looked at a little more often than what people are. because The Apprentice? Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's oh, see. look at that. We got a Retro Frame Chatterstorm. Let's see. Bray's Apprentice ETBs. You make a Thopter, and then you tap Sack an Artifact. Choose one. Exile the top card of your library. Till end of your next turn, you may play that card. And then uh, tap sack an artifact. Target creature gets plus two plus two. It's a three mana. I don't know. Look at the top card. Like what red does. Doesn't seem that bad for a three mana two. Uh, it's, a, it's a two three. A three mana two three. A backwards art card again. Is that the mystic mill card? redaction? Yeah, yep. the one that you just read. Yep. Terminal agony blossoming. I've thought about blossoming calm. In boggles? Uh, just kind of in anything. Like, I don't know. It just seems like it's got good applications. It's a single mana. Gives you hexproof to your next turn. What would make you want to run this? And it's got this? rebound, even. What would make you want to run this over a ley line, maybe? I think this might potentially be... It's on par with a ley right. line. Because it's... Uh, you can use it in a manner that'll get your opponent. Because, you know... An opponent's not going to be casting something on you if there's right. a ley line. Ooh, out. look at that. There's another fetch. We've got a hey, verdant catacomb. Second fetch. Dope. Ooh, and another rare in Lanus Cryptozoologist. Hey, Wade. Here's your Lanus for you. You were talking about making a janky Lanus modern deck. Let's see the cleansing. Another sketch. Ooh, look at that. And then we got a foil Dothy Voidwalker. Do we? Oh. Yes, we do. Beautiful. I can't afford that, so that one's going to go in the pile. It's like, 20, <laughs> it's like 20 bucks or 19 bucks. And then a list card of Great Teacher's Decree. Interesting. And no, the regular Dothy Voidwalker is like 18, 19 bucks, so the foil's probably like I got, 30. I got gypped on TCG Sniper today. Oh, I, is that who the alert was for? Yeah. Was you? I forgot to look at it to see what it, it was. It was Drothy. For, I said it for $10. It got put up for $10 by someone, but oh by the time God. I clicked the link, they changed it to 15 But it's on 15 I know you. I know when you were talking about picking them up, you wanted them around 12 Right. Yeah, that's kind of where I want to buy in at is like 12 or I something. I still feel getting them s around $15 is not a bad deal. Yeah, I just picked, bad, I I picked up a couple for 14 on TCG Player just yesterday. Nice. So that I am looking forward there to when go. they come in the mail. Make some crab rave stuff going on. Yeah. Crab rave. Oh, yeah. We got two, two, uh, two fuse. Not fuse. Two double cards. Split cards. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there's a blood braid marauder. I can't remember who was looking for one of those. No idea. Hey, the seal. Seal of removal. There we go. Another retro frame <laughs> chatter storm. Nice. And a foil sketch, Floodhound. So the good news is, uh, JB, it looks like you can really lean into your squirrel deck now. <laughs> hey, now, I think my squirrel deck is pretty cool as it is. It catches people by surprise because they're like, oh, it's just another blink deck. Then all of a sudden, boom, I'm shitting out squirrels. And they're like, oh my god, squirrels are everywhere! You have four cards, or five cards, that make squirrels. 
That I think, is all I need, sir. I think this is just your opportunity to start venturing into the world of blue because you got Counterspell in that deck, man. Because of you, sir. You, are you a closet, made me this monster. You are a closet blue player, and you're finally accepting it. You made me it. this monster. Come to the light. Hey, look, that's Grist. That's a Grist art card. Where? Is that? A, yeah, that's a Grist art card, ain't it? No. Yeah, that's is Grist. It? Well, that must be the alternate art one, then, because that's not the normal art. Uh, it doesn't necessarily say. Yeah, I think it's the... Uh, the full art. Oh my god! Did you notice that there's a person getting eaten by bugs at the bottom of her? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Look. Oh, let's 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 let the lovely folks check this out. Focus in there. Hey, there's a prismatic ending. Oh, dope. Ooh, another mythic. Sarah's emissary. Dude, Sarah's emissary. Okay. So tell me what Chain you think about addict. Sarah's Emissary, because it ETBs, you can choose a type, and you and creatures you control have protection from that type. So essentially, if that ETBs and you choose creature, you have protection from creatures for the rest, as long as Emissary is out on the field. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it could have applications. I just... I so... Know. It's just really expensive is all. Angeltron. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but now that COVID's over and we have sanctioned events back, I can't play Angeltron until I get three more Prismatic Ories. Hey, the no. people out there. Chromatic Ories. People out there looking to get rid of some uh, Chromatic Ories. JB is looking. Mm hmm. But, like, it's. it's Because that it, deck is not playable without all those it's another Chromatic Ories. Is Emissary a legendary? No, it's just a no. normal. So, like, maybe that would be a replacement for. Nah, you still need one Iona, I would say. So, right. oh, bone sh shards. God, yes. that card is really yeah, good. Yeah, we foil planes. Another card we were talking about on this week's episode, right? More artifact lands, lucid dreams. Mm. Hey, alter, alter of the, the goy. Goy. Yeah. Man, I'm so hey. sad. Hey, unmarked uh, grave. Yep. Good That's stuff. a good card. That one I've seen do some shenanigans. Yeah, dude. Uh, Reanimator style decks have a good chance of showing up later in the later in the season. I would say foil ornithopter. Oh, and a skull clamp from the list. List the list. Skull the cramp. List. Cramp. Skull clamp. God. I got a cramp in my skull. That would hurt. Can't imagine what the fuck that would feel like. Right. A migraine. Like a brain freeze. I guess. But worse. Do you know the technique to use if you have a brain freeze? Yeah, you stick your either your thumb or the or your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Yeah, that shit surprisingly works. Yes, it does. Would never thought it, but I have done right? it multiple times and it works. Galvanic relay, good card. Gargadon. Hey, Gargadon, welcome back. Rift Sower. Slagwood's Bridge. Hey, another artifact. Glide Scorch. What do you think of the... Uh, Road to Ruin. Hey, oh. ooh, retro, retro frame. frame. Profane Tutor. Dope. That's really good. You have my Elder. Retro Frame Blacksmith Skill. Eh. And a Foil Air Amoeba. Not bad. The hey, Squirrel Toga. So far, a weaker pack, I would say. Right. I mean, I don't know. Well, Retroframe I mean, Profane is pretty good. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, value-wise, yeah, weaker, but I mean, cool-wise, I don't know. Retroframe Foil, or Retroframe Profane Tutor is pretty cool. It does look cool. It looks like it belongs in the Retroframe already, so. Right. Another art card. Oh, the uh, Unsuit or whatever. Ooh, more Unholy, unholy heat. heat. God, that card. That card, I am excited to see what that's going to do. People are going to get dink stomped by that thing. Scuttle Tide for more of your crab rave needs. Nts, nts, nts. Diamond Lion. There we go. Ooh. Neveneral's Disc. Sketch World Weary. And a foil unbounded potential. Is it truly unbounded? I don't know. Maybe. You know the uh, the token, token the token cards have been backwards too. You noticed? Uh, no, they've been like that in a lot of packs lately. Now, oh, have they? Yeah, they've been starting to put them that way. At, oh, I've been just watching. You, why like, always I don't have know, to flip them out, and I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, no, like I've noticed that even with the, uh, I think in Strixhaven they they even did that too. It threw me for a loop. Can't move this over here. I think. That looks like a better spot for it instead of right by your hand. Over here. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. 
moving, doing live edits and stuff with the stream. Thank you guys Goblin for putting Anarch- up with that. Anarchomancer. Dude, Storm. Frog Summer High. Storm with that. Hey, Abundant Harvest. Another Chatter Storm. That's a good card. Strike it rich. Good Bay card. Offering. Arid Mesa. That's Woo! three fetch lands. Three in fetches. This box. All different fetches. Chef's Kiss. Chef's Kiss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Greed. Greed is a pretty cool card. I like Greed. Retro Frame. Step through. Oh my Ooh. God! Hold foil that baby to the camera. Foil retro frame, misty rainforest. You're no, you're doing it wrong. Like, uh, doing it wrong. I don't know uh, where your lens is, sir. And boop, boop. Uh, uh, not zooming in. Focus, come on. There we go. That's focused. God, look at that thing. Oh, do a live, do a live uh, price search. Live on price that. search on that one. Okay, live price search on a retro frame misty rainforest. And we got another list card with Stony Brook Banneret. For Let's all you see. merfolkers. So Modern Horizons two. Go on, TCG. Market price, a foil, is $142. Sick. Market price for a non-foil, $103. This is all off of TCG or uh, MTG stocks. Uh, you can find them on TCG Player for a non-foil for 102 But as soon as we... There's 89 foil options. Uh, Maple Bar Games is selling a moderately play- a moderately played one already. Jeez. Uh, near Mint 105, Near Mint 110, 110, 109, 110, 112, 110, 115. You're you're gonna be spending over a hundred bucks to be mm-hmm. able to get a foil retro misty rainforest. Got a Nick that was Paragon and a Sylvan Anthem and a third rare Chance Encounter. Oh, hold on, hold on. I just noticed that we are. Not zoomed in there. <gasps> there we go. Oh no. Just readjust. And then a retroframe ornithopter of paradise. Nice. Foil arcbound tracker. And a sweet beast token. God, those beast tokens look good. Right? They do look pretty cool. Stop messing with the tripod. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> kitty. Not bad, not bad at all. Dray Keeper. Ah, too bad it's Golgari colors. What does it do? Uh, when it ETBs, you create two one one green squirrel tokens, and you can pay three in a black, and squirrels you control get plus one and plus O and gain menace until end of turn. You're okay. definitely holding that up above the, the frame there. There you go. I could I could blink the crap out of that in Soul Herder, but it's wrong colors. Make it five color blink. No, well that would turn into a four color blink. I was saying make it five. Well, what would I put red? Bone shards. You can have Fury, the new uh, evoke creature. Captain Ripley Vance. Captain Ripley. Thraven Watcher. Flame Tongue Yearling. Nice. And a rag of band. Ooh, nice. Is Along that still with like counter spell? Yeah, it's like seventy-two bucks. It's it's flirting between uh, seventy and seventy-five. Let's do another live search on that one. Regavan, Regavan. R. Yeah, there we go. Nimble pilfer. Ooh, foil uh, thorn glint bridge. MTG stocks. It's seventy-one dollars or seventy-five on TCG player. There are multiple different places selling them for 71, 70, 74, 73, 71. So you have your options. You don't have to pay the uh, 75. But I mean, it's in that area. A foil is 140. Mm-hmm. 140. Ooh, a God bone. Damn. A strictly worse batter skull. Hey man, <laughs> that's yeah. Ooh, Necrogoif. nice. And Piru the volatile. Is that the one that deals damage when it dies? 
Yes. Deal seven damage to each non legendary creature. Do we? T- yeah, I think we talked about this one time on camera that uh, even though it has lifelink, since it's off the battlefield, it doesn't gain you the life. Correct, because it will already be dead. Correct. Ooh, Quirion Ranger. That's a card that Elves players in Modern are excited to mm-hmm. have in Modern again. I've got two Not of them. Not again for the first time, but. I got two of them, and they're going in my Legacy deck. Nice. Retroframe Marble Gargoyle and a Foil Vidalcan Infiltrator. Not too shabby. With a clue token. The clue. The clue. Split up, gang. Let's look for clues. That's a bad impression of Fred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You know, uh, you know what that reminded me of? What is that? So when I was growing up, we had a record player still. And we had this little book. That, uh, it was a Scooby Doo book, and it came with a record, like the little mini records. Oh my gosh! Yeah, was it like it was? It was like the 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 brightly colored, like deeply grooved, yeah. and you knew that they were like the toy records. No, it was like still legitly playable. Like it, it, it was played. like vinyl. It was yeah. like plastic. Oh, yeah, it was, shit. it was vinyl. Okay, and it played along with the book, and you could follow along with the book. Well, <laughs> our record player every once in a while would like slow down a bit, and <laughs> that's it. Your your impression reminded me of like that. When it slowed down when Fred was talking. I was a slowed down Fred. Yeah, like it just. It, hey, gang, <laughs> let's <laughs> split up and look for clues. Right? It was like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> I'm having flashbacks here. I'm fucking triggered. Triggered. <laughs> triggered. God damn it, Fred. Stop sounding like you're possessed. Right? Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Hold on. Wow, we got we, uncommons right out the bat. Hold on. Let's talk about this. Uh, this flame blitz. This flame card, blitz, yes. I am hyped on beyond all belief because this thing can take down a ticked up to fair uh, three fairy. It can nug a uh, a five fairy. Really, it can kill a uh, a Karn because a Karn has a plus one. It enters with four, goes a plus one, and it kills that before their next turn. And really weakens a Karn Silver Golem. Uh, with the first Karn, it's Karn to Great Creator and stuff. So it takes out a Narset as well, if that's an issue. This is a one mana kill damn near every problematic Planeswalker that you're ever going to get. And on top of it, it cycles for two. If you're like in a main board where you know that you're going to be losing like most of your matches against a Karn or against a, a Teferi, like... It's a two mana draw card, and at that point, it's like two mana draw card is an okay thing, but and then it's an enchantment. So when you land that thing out, it's just gonna keep hitting. Like it's, I mean, yeah, you're gonna be missing. Like they're not gonna be casting a planeswalker into this anymore, right? But then they're gonna have dead draws from then on until they can deal with that. I mean, t- three fairy, they get drawn another three fairy, they drop that, bounce it back to your hand, but then you're gonna get it back. <laughs> Right, and then you're just going to kill it again. Flame Blitz is such an under... uh, Not an underrated. It's a card that people need to be looking at. uh, Because I don't think it's underrated. I don't think people are just noticing it. Uh, Primarily because in the current meta, like Karn's really the only Planeswalker that you're seeing. And Three Fairy and some of the Azorius builds. Like, those are the two. But outside of that, it's like... Tezzerits are starting to get run in the side of the lantern control decks have you been seeing those uh tezzeret agent of bolus it's the one with the plus one that you look at the top five put all artifacts or put a artifact into your hand rest at the bottom of in a random order and then it has the neg of uh make an art a non-creature artifact a five five creature token or five five artifact creature i think indefinitely i can't remember its alt but that's another one it's a four mana enters with four comes in with five and this kills that if they decide to look I mean, with anything, if they look down, like, Flame Blitz, if you got red, I would, like, highly, highly, highly recommend this card. Way better than Fry, way better than, I don't know, pick it whatever Planeswalker removal that you're fucking thinking of. Eliminate, way better than Eliminate, I would say. What about Flay Essence? What does that one do? Exile, target creature, or planeswalker, you gain life equal to the number of counters on it. Is that two black black? One black black. One black black. Sorcery. I don't know. I am I'm I'm really high on this card. You are. Explain why. I like it. But only for certain certain decks. Like I'm putting at least two of in rack. What are you hoping to nug with that? 
pretty much anything. I mean, it just. But what has counters it, on it? It, it, well, give, it exiles anything, but you yep. gain life if it has counters? Yes, counters. So loyalty counters, plus one counters, any kind of counter. It just says counters. Oh, is, is it a permanent? Target or, or creature or planeswalker. Oh, creature or planes. Oh. Okay. Okay, I see that now. That's pretty interesting. Right. It gives you planeswalker removal. And you gain life. Out of, I mean, you're, you're you're getting upside on it. I would still take Flame Blitz over Planeswalker. Well, yes, but I'm in a mono black deck, sir. Hey, man, we've already discussed this. You in 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 rack. I think you should totally just splash for red no. to be able to get Croxa, no. at least Croxa, no. because you're going to be happy discarding that thing, and then you're going to be putting pressure on the board when you escape Ooh. it. Nose break the ice. Nice. And a sudden edict. Hold on. Show that sudden edict. Let everybody no, know that no, it's there. No, nobody Remember, needs to know folks, that card exists. Sudden edict is a card. Tide Shaper. Oh, Richard and Dockport. Nice. And a Doc guy as well. Dock hand, not Dockport. Well, it's a it's a it's a Richard and Port on, on a stick. So Guy as well. Gray card. Ooh. Ooh, a karmic guide. Double dope. Ooh, retro. And a retro f- bone shards. I love bone yeah. shards. Again, we talked about it on Monday, but I can't yeah, just I put, like I just it. put that in rack too. Good on you. That is, yeah, bone shards way better than blood sheepsters. And I was super high on blood sheepsters. I'm like, this fucking card does everything, but bone shards just does everything blood sheepsters wished it could do. Mm-hmm. Like you don't care about fucking discarding a card or fucking sacking a creature nine times out of ten. Correct. I mean, the only time that this is going to be a bad card is if you have no Thrasta. cards. Thrasta. Thrasta art card. Dope. Oh, another Phantasmal Dreadmaw. Yeah. Get them Dreadmaws. I should totally make my fucking... Uh, oh, Sketch Verdant Command. Yeah. If you want to make some squirrels. Noted. They enter tapped. We covered this. A yeah. glimpse of tomorrow. I thought Because I thought Chatterstorm had them all enter tapped, but it right. was the Verdant uh, Command that made them the squirrels enter tap. So I got those two confused there. Okay, so I've I've been thinking about ways to use this and maybe break glimpse of tomorrow. Like just for fun. Okay, let's hear it. I don't know. Like I'm not fully there yet, but like I've been ever since I saw the card and read it, I'm like wheels kind of started turning, but like see red is also not in my wheelhouse, so that's why I'm like struggling as much as I am with it, but it it seems like a cool card cuz you get to shuffle all permanents you own into your library. Then reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Put all non-aura permanent cards revealed this way onto the battlefield. Then do the same for aura cards. Then put the rest onto the bottom of your library in a random order. This is a warp world for yourself. Now, with this, I think there's good potential. Like in a Right? Like, like that's, that's where I'm at. Like It's got potential. It's just a matter of how, how to use it. Uh, you have Bloodbraid Marauder as your way to like get it out of your deck. And then you have like Seals of Fire. You have Mishra's Bobble, and you'd have Look. Flame Blitz. A, st- a strictly worse Cyclonic. Really. Hold on a second. Have you seen some of these decks that are just like sinking a crap ton of mana and then casting up people to wreck their opponent, and then they use that mana that oh, they like, put in the pool? Lesser Gargadon. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's in this set. We were just talking about you. I might just have to get that for the meme value. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I have a greater Gargadon I could give you, and then you could have all three. Oh, are you giving me, just giving me the greater I, Gargadon? I don't know. Maybe. I'll take a free greater gar- Gargadon. I mean, they're not worth much, so. You know what I just realized? What? Danny said that he would be watching us tonight. And he's not. What a lying son of a bitch. I know. Now you are going to have to slap him with me. I know. What, what did you hey, think? Hey, another art card. Or signed art card. Ooh. And, and it's the. Uh, island. It's the uh, god Murfolk Yeah, the Murfolk there. god. Look at that signature. Bottle gnomes. I was going to kick out of bottle gnomes. Isn't that bottle golems? Or golems, yeah. yeah. Whatever. We'll go with that. Bottom bottle golems. They're tiny. Is based off of they're tiny, like gnomes. Okay, they should have been bi- gnomes. They're bi- well, bottle gnomes is already a card. I know it was, and they're like little bottle cap people. Yep. But. Ooh, liquid metal torque. Way worse than liquid metal coating. Is it though? I mean, because there's still you're not paying mana to activate it. It gives you a mana, and it gives you a mana. 
but it doesn't hit lands. And like the thing with liquid metal coating I is mean, it hits lands. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it depends if Ponza style decks or Tron style decks would rather have that mana than the ability to tag someone's land. Or I mean, you know, it could be the fifth or sixth copy of a liquid metal coating. As we were talking earlier this week, uh, in some of the deck dumps, there's a Karn deck that has three liquid metal coatings in the main and one in the side. So, right. Treasure. That treasure is kind of cool. That's a good looking treasure. Right. <sighs> Next oh, yeah. beer Stone's Throw from Fargo Brewing. Always a classic. Hashtag wish we were sponsored. <laughs> right. It'd be sweet to be sponsored, get some free beer. Dude, did you know that uh, one of the MTG personalities online, I think it's Lady Vess, Tal- Talia Vess? Sure. She is sponsored by Voodoo Brewing. Nice. So it's like we could totally get sponsored by a beer company. <laughs> Dude, we totally could. Hey, look, there's Thrasta. Nice. Dino Storm deck. Listen to this last week's episode. Hey, look at that. We talk about that. Retro frame liquid metal torque. Very beautiful. Yeah, foil. <gasps> Fairgrounds Patrol. We have a another list. list card of Worn Power Stone. Dope. Comes into play tapped. Tap it to add two colorless mana to your mana pool. Play this ability as a mana source. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all, I would say. Man. So far, Josh, good packs, I would say. I think you got your uh, your value back. Right, with all the fetches. Oh, that fucking retro fucking... Yeah. Dude, you should take a picture and just send that to him real quick. <laughs> Glimmer Baron. Classic. Right. Just Everybody loves a Glimmer Baron. A little guy in a uh, oof in a bee suit. Right. So Trick or cool. treat, smell my feet. I'm oh going to fuck God. up your artifacts. Right, Foundation Breaker. Soul Talisman. Ooh. In a Marari's wake. Oh, Danny would be jizzing his pants right now for right. that thing. I he, got one in my box too. He loves a Marari's wake. Fun fact: those are only like seven dollars. Yeah, dude. Remember so if you want those Marari's like, wake cheap, <laughs> you can get them now. I remember at one point when they were fucking like twenty-five fucking dollars. Uh huh. Twenty-five dollars. Like woof. Thank you, wizards. You know. Hold on. Before we continue, let's just take a quick pause and thank Wizards for actually making pretty solid reprints a lot of the times. You know, th- it's they, just that... Yeah, they have been getting better. Because I think everybody overlooks, like, what gets reprinted and what's and they're just focusing on what's not getting reprinted. And I think it's... Oh, we have a list card again. Um, but Wizards Ooh, is a... salamander-looking guy. He's cool. It's the, the frog uh, affinity guy. But Wizards does print things. They're a big fucking corporation. It's not like that they're able to just like at a drop of a hat when May is, June is around and they're and the magic community is like we need this reprint. Wizards ain't able to fucking do it with right. the next set. Right, Look, sorry. this is strictly worse lightning helix. What really? <laughs> yeah, you never read Foundry Helix? It's fucking junk. Sack plan I mean, yeah, yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I imagine in draft, Ooh, rise and shine. it would be good. Oh, more pieces to Enchantress. Solitary <laughs> Confinement. Uh, recently printed into Modern. At the beginning of your upkeep, sack Solitary Confinement unless you discard a card. Skip your draw step and you have Shroud. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you. Okay, so when you have Enchantresses and you... Uh, Cast an enchantment that draws you cards. Skipping your draw step is not oh, a negative. Oh, look at that. We got a foil solitude, sir. Oh, shit. Hold on. Live search on that one. Solitude. Yeah, because I'm curious. Solitude. Oh, hey, look. Amu is going to love this. We got a Sensei Golden Tail. <gasps> Did we? Yep, from the list. Hey, man. Fucking hit him in the Discord. Fun fact: We were just playing up, or er, playing against his uh, Sensei Golden Tail Commander deck the other day. We were. Uh, I played against it last night as well against uh, Akumu in the Discord. Akumu was playing some fucking Sultai Morph awesomeness, and the it Morphy Morphs. It dinks what left. What was Foil Solitude at? Foil Solitude is at forty bucks. Surprisingly, 
And this Oof. is a card that this is a card that people are fucking playing a crap. T- hold on, hold on. Go back to that other one. That's what, the, the wave one. sifter. It makes treasure er, uh, clues. Investigate when it, ETBs yeah. you investigate twice. Yeah, dude, and it has a voke. Yes, for Simic. Yeah, it's two mana to make two permanents. And that's important in some sort of builds. I remember people were talking about that. So just note on that. If you want to be making permanents at a good value, two mana make two permanents, not a bad deal. Use three fortunes, Blaine. Dope. Oh, and another seal, uh, not a seal away. Ooh, yep. uh, seal of removal. Seal of removal. And a retro frame mind collapse. Dope. Foil glint braid prowler. Dope. And a clue token. Oh, the clues. The clues are upon us, folks. The clues Blues, are clues. upon us. Hold on. It's mail time. Yeah, we're focused. That was fucking crazy. Yeah. Late to dinner art card. Nice. Oh, the flip guy. What guy? The first one. Uh, the flip Oh, the coin, coin flip. Yeah, coin yeah. flip. Coin flippers. Tavern scoundrel. There we go. That's its name. Tormod's geek. To, the, to those keeper. to those listening or watching, I'm not like hey, right behind him, so I'm just like looking oak. across the table. Danny would be down for that. Danny would be down for that. Ooh, squirrel sovereign. I need another one. Hey, oh, this is a squirrel yeah, pack. A ravenous squirrel. God, hold on, hold hold that up to the camera. I want people to now see this little bro- bloody motherfucker, like just demolishing this fucking snake. There we go. Look at that thing. It is ripping into this snake's throat. That is a vicious fucking squirrel. He's very ravenous. I know. Oh, how you fucking moving the table like I'm that? Sorry. Calibrated blast. I guess I haven't read that one before. Oh, look. Gorilla Shaman. We were yeah. just talking about him. On Monday as well. Yeah, yep. dude. The Gruel Ponza decks. Ooh, retro frame soul snare. Nice. And a foil road to ruin. Sketch, Ret- even. Yeah. I was going to say it's a sketch one. Yeah, Gruel Panza is running the Gorilla Shaman because it's one man to destroy a land with liquid metal coating or any other way to be making fucking lands. Dude, aren't we so glad that fucking Mycosynth Lattice is no longer Oh, in my modern. God. Thank you. Because that would just be one man to mow down all your fucking lands. GG, bitch. Right? Fucking Christ. Well, that it would, already was GG. That would just be a win more situation because yeah. it's like Car and Micosynth, fuck you, you can't play. You can't. And now, not only can you not play, but I'm going to wipe your whole fucking board. Yep. We're done. Good yep. game. Like, no, that, like, that's just the level of I want to just punch you in the throat. You can do that in Commander still, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Yes. But you could Ooh, do it before swapping. because Gorilla Shaman was a thing. Right. And it's now just like if the uh, mono red artifact style decks would be interested in um, doing oh see there's your acolyte guy okay so what does it do so it's a selesnia to cast it's got reach life link it's a 2-2 and it has outlast for a selesnia hybrid and other or each other creature you control without a plus one plus one counter on it has outlast for selesnia okay Right, it's not bad. It's I've, not bad. I've got a couple that I thought about. Oh, hey, look, there's a Yavimaya Cradle Ooh, of Growth. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful. Do, do, do Google. Or, do yeah. Google? Do, go, do Google. Google. Do Google. Do <laughs> Google. On MTG Stocks, Yavimaya Soul Snare, Retro Frame Glimmer Baron, and a Foil Galvanic Relay. Uh, market price is 16 bucks. Foil going for just shy of 30 you can find them on TCG Player for fifteen dollars. Uh, Seventeen near mint, sixteen seventy five near mint, sixteen ninety seven near mint. So yeah, you're gonna be getting them around sixteen seventeen bucks. I think this is good. This last, is a card that I last need for pack. my. You think we'll get another <gasps> fetch? Last pack. Oh man, I wasn't paying attention that we're already on our last pack on that one. Squirrel Sanctuary. Ooh. Yeah. Underworld Hermit. Nice. Legion Vanguard. Esper hey, Sentinel. Hey, we got the Esper Sentinel. I Woo. said we were getting Esper Sentinel tonight. I said it was going to be the first pack, but it was Patrick the last Gnomes. pack. Nested Shambler Retro Frame. Mm-hmm. And a Foil Slag Strider. Well, f- four fetches, one being a Foil Retro Frame. I feel that's pretty good. Right. I think we would have been greedy asking for five. Yeah. But we did get that Esper Sentinel, like I called. I called it. It was just in the wrong order. It was the very last pack, not the very first. Oh, man. 
Should we take a quick look at some of these highlights here? Like what? I'll let you, I'll let you sift through. <sighs> I gotta sift through these. I gotta like readjust my microphone here, and then I gotta come over <laughs> here, adjust this, adjust that, so that way I can actually do this. Making me move things that don't need to be moved. Okay. Oh man, such a good pack here. Such a very good pack box. Uh, solitary confinement, powerful card, soul talisman. I don't know. Do you have like a uh, a JB um, pack or card to pick right now? Uh, for like out stock of this box or what? Stock wise, you know, like wh what's a good deal picking up some cards right now? Hmm. What do you think's gonna be the the movers, the shakers? You know, I don't know. It's hard to say. It it really is. Well, I know Esper Sentinel is a card that's even seeing play in Legacy. That card is bonkers. Right, that card is just a beast. I've I watched Aspiring Spike do uh, a league with Esper Control that had Esper Sentinel in the mains, and that thing was it drew him like five cards. Five fucking cards, I think. It drew him. Uh, it could. Uh, it could be anywhere in that ballpark, but it drew him enough cards where it's like, shit, this actually matters. Right? No, it does. It. It makes a big difference. Yeah, I think Esper Sentinel is a really fucking great card. Right. And then we got all these beautiful sketches. All right, JB, your thoughts on the sketch cards? Because I know I have my thoughts on the sketch cards. You know, I think they're I I, th I think they're nifty. You do? I think like I mean it's just another special thing, you know. Yeah. There there are definitely the people out there that enjoy seeing what the process of a card was before it became its finished product. And this definitely fills that, you know. Right that love, that need for... Because, you know, on the MTG Art Marketplace on Facebook, they have a bunch of MTG artists that are selling their sketches, and people love to collect that. And the fact that they're putting in an art form, it's like, that's good. They're able to encapsulate that niche of a uh, magic collector, I think. So, right, that's pretty good. That's very good. Well, snap, magic folk. Not bad. We were uh, we we took an hour to crack that box, almost, uh, because there's a ten minute you know, ten minute page showing off in the beginning. So, uh, JB, final thoughts on this whole box here? I don't know. I think this is this was a pretty sick box. I'm not gonna lie, it was good. Any uh, cards specifically here that you want to delve into a little more, like talk? pros cons of them i don't know it's hard to say because i don't want to give away my upcoming deck I builds and secrets i like, promise you people ain't going to give two shits about what you're building you never know oh we I, want, do know. I like to catch people by surprise sir oh do you yes. what's your what's your surprise tactic right now i play random ass shit and i never play the same deck twice Good way to so go. you never know what I'm playing. Squirrels and counter spells. Got it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that one's league ready just because the mana base is fucked because I need, like, the shocks and breeding pools are super expensive. So, Well, I Unholy Heat. We talked about it. I'm just, like, really hyped on this card. I'll be honest. I picked up, like, ten or 12 foils on TCG Player the other day. So they'll be coming. That's uh, Matt's thing to click. Per card to per card to pick. There we go. That's Matt's card to pick. Unholy foil, unholy heats. The fact that it's uh, it's, it's six damage. Asmore is good with the food because it also does six damage to shit. So, but this exiles. It's fucking exiles for one fucking mana. Right. It does do things. 
it does. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty high on like bone shards and flay essence just for like certain applications. It it, it brings a lot better removal to black in cheaper forms. Wider forms, I would say, because correct. It gives better. Okay, let's put it this way: it gives better planeswalker removal that, to black. Yes, that is true. Because before the only black planeswalker removal, uh, first thing that pops in my head is Et Extinction that came out in Theros Beyond Death, and then we had Eliminate in Core Twenty or Core Nineteen. I think it's Core Twenty. Uh, yeah, I think it was Core Twenty. Core Twenty is when Eliminate came out, and. Is that the only fucking cards? Well, then, uh, Blood Chiefs, there's also tagged uh, Planeswalkers, but that's four mana, so that's like a E2 extinction. But yeah, one mana or three mana to be able to sorcery speed kill a Planeswalker is pretty good. I do, I do want to see instant speed Planeswalker removal. I mean, sorcery speed yeah, is fine. Yeah, it would be nice. It's not well, like they're... Yeah, I, Eliminate is instant speed, but you're you're only tagging three or less. So I mean, three know. or less does hit a lot. You know, it does hit three fairy. It does. does hit set. It does tag a run in six. Yep. How often are we gonna see things like um, Sahili, the three mana Sahili, or I'm trying to think like Royal Scions? Those those are those are fucking planeswalkers that are just not even crossing lines but still just the ability to hit i think three right. fairy is like the biggest one though instant speed and three fairy kind of sucks so maybe maybe i'm wrong in thinking that black instant removal is good because you can't respond after a three fairy drops and three fairy is probably the most scary planes mm. not the most scary uh, i mean yeah not the most but he's pretty high up there agreed i would agree well, Magic Folk, to those out there listening, if you have a question, pick our dumbass minds here real quick before we go off air, I think. Because I think, yeah, we're wrapping this up, unless, I don't know, what what are some thoughts on Modern Horizons 2 that we got as a set? You know, I think it's pretty good. I think it's, I mean, you, you, we're getting a lot of definitely needed reprints. I mean, granted, the the, the fetches aren't going to stay low because price memory is a fucking thing because people are assholes, but it gets more copies out there, you know, and for a little while, they'll be a little more accessible. I think at this rate, if fetches do start to move up, be on the lookout for the second wave, the second print of... Modern Horizons 2, because for sh- fucking sure, people are going to be picking up that second wave. Mm. And as soon as that gets picked up, there are going to be more of the fetches. The only... I don't think they're going to become dirt cheap, but as soon as they... like Misty's are like 45, and fucking Scalding, scalding Tarns are about 46 or something like that. They're all sub-50. And honestly, if you want to, like, I guess, bite the medium bullet comparatively... Like, you're going to be making your money back on the fetch lands currently if you buy them any... Because, like, Marsh Flats is 28. Arid Mesa is, like, sub-30 as well. Um, uh, Verdant Catacombs is probably in the $30 range, I think. It goes in that order. It's Misty's and Scalding are the ones that are... No, that Ver- Verdant's pretty high up there, too. Verdant's? Uh, okay, mm-hmm. so is it in the plus 40s? I think it's right around the 40. Okay. So... Picking them, uh, picking up any of those around the forty dollar, forty to fifty dollar, I don't think you're losing out. You're not going to be making like your biggest. You know, if you're worried about the biggest returns, like oh, I'm going to be selling these, then you're not the per- kind of person that re- necessarily we're talking to. But we're talking to the the players out there that are wanting to get their pieces for their decks to be able to make their modern, to make their commander. I, I think it's a good time still, like. You're gonna, you'll probably get a little bit of the butt hurts because it's like, oh no, I could have saved like ten bucks maybe, but it's like ten forty forty bucks in the long run. It sucks, but if you think of it in a way of, if you bought it from an LGS, that's like forty dollars towards your LGS right. as well. And everybody has to be like, not not has to be. I don't know. I'm very 
LGS focus when it comes to getting a lot of my cards. Right. I'd rather buy from Josh than order online. It's yeah. It's always uh, J Dub's first. Uh, then I look at Paradox. Right. And then after that is when online. I start going to yeah TCG player. And at least with TCG player, you can be like picking you know potential brick and mortar stores and stuff as well because right. they do label what ones are brick and mortar. Mm-hmm. Well, JB, should we think of a word to say? Fetch. Why just fetch? Because we hit so many fetches, bro. Four? (laughs) Out of... 32 packs? Yeah, and you know how much fucking money that is? Uh, Let's see, 150, or 140, sub 200, 220, 230, 240, like 240 max in fetches. That's the price of the box in four cards, dude. Touche. Touche, I'll give you that. And that's not including the Ragavan, the Foil Solitude, I mean that that's another what one ten right there. Yeah, yeah. Then plus all your other you know, random yeah. anywhere between a dollar to ten dollar rares that add up. I we mean do. this this box had insane value. As of right now, the EV of a Modern Horizons box I think is a set boosters about. 500 Saffron Olive did his finance article on it and when pre-orders were still around for uh, the Modern Horizons 2 the estimated value of a box a set box was like $900 you'd be paying $250 and you get $900 roughly return ROI and that dropped a lot because I think people did not expect as much product to be getting yeah. sent out. The regular version of Verdant is forty dollars and seventy one cents nice. right now for MH two. Yeah, this is a great box. Which is what I thought. It's you know right right there on that forty dollar bubble. Well, no errors of sagas, though. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think we lost on that. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, I didn't know this, this, this box was freaking bomb. Yeah, I, I enjoyed this box. Okay, so thank you so much, J Dub Sports Cards and Gaming, for giving us this box to open up on stream. If any of you magic folk out there are interested in picking up any cards that you see here this evening, J Dubs will be having them. Contact them on Facebook, go on their website, J Dubs Sports cards and gaming.com or you can find them on the uh, on facebook for jw sports cards and gaming hit them up be like hey i want this card that was pulled tonight on stream and josh will work with you as a way to either if you're in the fm area coming up to uh, jw's shortly he'll hold it off to the side or he can mail all across the country uh very competitive prices i would say and yeah the final thing to say here The pre-release pack. JB has decided if you use secret word fetch when the link goes up for the drawing of this prize pack, we'll make it to where you get an extra draw, uh, not an extra draw, an extra entry in there <laughs> just, just yeah, for free. Extra draw. Extra you get an extra pre-release pack. Don't, no, no. <laughs> Everybody that's listening right now, how many viewers do we have? One. Every viewer listening right now gets an extra pre-release pack. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes, uh, Fetch, let us know. Keep an eye out for that link. Keep that secret word in the back of your mind for that. Hey, man, you can get some good stuff. Those pre-release those pre-release, number, or, uh, pre-release numbers, pre-release cards are holding a pretty penny still. Yeah, so... How do you feel about how they changed the pre-release stamp now? 
I like it better. I like it better. Ten times better. I do, but I I thought the date was cool because you could like kind of keep it as like an archive. You know, you, you you could have it and be like, yeah, you know, this is like you could track when you were playing. You know, and now all it is is just a year stamp. Like, there's no, yeah. You know, it's nice and clean. Looks very. I bold, mean, I, I, I don't know. I'll agree with you on that. Like, it does look cool, but like from my perspective, from like what I like out of the pre-release cards, or like the old way of it, like I don't know. It just doesn't have that. Having the date that the pre-release was right. On it, it just doesn't have that coolness to it anymore. Oh my god, our only fucking listener is Danny. <laughs> oh wait, no. He doesn't show up as account listener because he's a mod. Oh, true. True story. What, okay. did, what did Danny say? Not listening. <laughs> oh, you finally decided to fucking listen. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I see how it is. Break our hearts, why don't you? Right? You could have been here. You could have got that scurry oak that we pulled... I would say that we'd rip it, but that's Josh's. So right, flip it or rip it, dude. We should have played flip it or rip it with this box. We gotta hit up Josh one time. Be like, "Yo, Josh, you got right? Like a, you Just got give a us box. a box of Born of Gods or something or Ixalan to fucking flip no, or rip." No one's gonna care about that. <laughs> like, we gotta like make it kind of good. If he has a box of original, a Rav, original Ravnica or Return to Ravnica, that'd be an interesting one. Ooh, flip it or rip it, War of the Spark. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Yeah, Josh, if you're listening to this. Right, there you go. There's your, here's your test to see if our sponsor actually listens to us. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably like, no, nah, screw these guys. I don't want to listen to them. All right. Uh, these make guys sure, suck. Make sure to follow <laughs> us on all the socials. Subscribe to the podcast where better podcasts can be found. Everything where you can find us online is on a nice, tidy little link. Our link tree link is L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash This Week in MTG. There you'll be able to find our links to Patreon, Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. Uh, like, subscribe, and all that other stuff. JB, do you have anything else you need to say? Uh, the only other thing is uh, Danny Oakstead has zero points in league. <laughs> only because Mason didn't say it this time. And with that magic, folks, <laughs> we will catch you next time. Bye.